She was born before Oklahoma became a state. And last week, she celebrated her 110th birthday. And tonight, 23 ABC's Faye Kay gives us a look inside her life and the secret to her longevity. Ask Opal Good of growing up, she thought she'd live to see 110, and she laughs. 110? <laughs> Impossible. Born on June 3rd, 1907, she's older than her home state of Oklahoma. It was Indian Territory. It became a state November the 16th, 1907. Opal says she was six years old when she came face to face with an African American for the first time. I never had seen a colored person. Frightened, she quickly jumped into a ditch. And he said, says, come on out of those stick of weeds. I won't hurt you. In 1926, Opal married her husband of nearly 50 years. The couple moved to Bakersfield during the Great Depression. I worked in Woolworth for $16 a week, eight hours a day, no benefits. Opal is one of seven super centenarians in the country, a title bestowed on those 11 decades or older. She credits her longevity to hard work and clean living. You know, hard work never killed anybody. If you eat right, get plenty of rest, and don't and indulge. A grandmother of six and great-grandmother of nine, Opal now resides in Ridgecrest where she lived on her own until she was 105. She's healthy. In fact, our doctor told us five years ago that she'd live to be 110. So who knows what's next? This past Saturday, family and friends gathered to celebrate Opal's 110th birthday. She received a greeting from Congressman McCarthy. In the coming days, she'll receive another one from President Trump. <laughs> While Opal has seen a lot in her lifetime, she never heard the term social media. So I decided to introduce her to Snapchat. <laughs> And boy, did she like it. Do you like that, Opal? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Full of life and laughter, she says she has no regrets in life. I don't think I'd change my life. I think I'm happy with my life. And one last bit of advice? If you, if you want to do something, do it. Don't say, well, someday, someday, someday may never come. In Ridgecrest, Faven K, 23, ABC. Oh,